Hey, everybody. I'll see who signs in. Usually people sign in later after I record. I don't have a huge following on this page. But I am updating my page as I have been. And keeping you guys posted on what's going on with me and what I'm planning on doing. And this is the last month of a crazy year called 2020 AD. Is that right? Yeah, AD. Right. Um, so I wanted to update you guys, let you guys know what's going on. There's a lot happening. Some I can share, some I'm in the mix of planning, but that is pretty much an ongoing. As you guys know, who follow me, or I guess for those who don't know, I'll let you guys know. This page has been primarily set up for me to update page people on my progress from my beginning of my journey as I have been on a journey seeking uh, ultimate health, ultimate wealth, um, mind, body, and soul. And so, um, hmm, this thing is notifying me. Tap something to oh i think somebody dropped in hey welcome 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 so like i was saying um i'm just kind of updating everybody on my status this is december 2020 and it's time to make plans for 2021 so i wanted to wrap up this year update everybody on my status see um put some positive vibes out for those in their journey and let you guys know what's next so, when I started this page, this was 10 years ago, and I was on the beginning of this journey in learning about building wealth. I had a J-O-B, I worked a 9 to 5, and a lot has happened since then. I'm now not on a J-O-B, I'm still in my own home, I still eat, and it wasn't really a planned exit. But because of what I learned, I have been able to take care of me. And now we are segue into 2020, the great year of chaos. And so I began the year planning and doing things in my wealth sector um, with a business partner that we were uh, getting started together and trying to get business going um, and feeling our way into a, a long-term partnership. That did not work out. But along anything you do and whether it's positive or negative if you're staying close keep your eye to ear to the uh the real deal you learn your lessons and i learned some lessons so segue into where i'm at now after all this time i am now systemized to the point where i have written out systems and processes which next year i will be uh advertising and hiring for i have hired in the past I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And the person that I hired was doing their best, but they didn't really have the best instruction. And so I have improved as an employer. And I'm looking forward to being an employer again, because then that means that I'm not doing the damn work. And I like quitting jobs as much as I can and replacing me. So that being said, we are in 2020, and this is about health and survival. And I have vastly great difference of opinion than Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. So that is one of the driving forces which I am doing this video to welcome you guys to another platform, Telegram, which you will be able to find me as I am M love I A M M L U V I am M love on Telegram, and there I can post more uh, thoroughly who I am, what I'm about in regards to my mindset and understanding. In this part of my journey in life, I am not looking for any and everyone to go on this journey with me. I am looking for those of like minds in which I can help and support in their journey, and they can help and support in mine. So, although I have quite a number of people on this page, not many people interact. So, 
I do have a quite a bit of looky lose more than those that interact. So I am looking for more interaction. Although Telegram won't allow the interaction, it will allow me to be able to share with those of like minds, which will allow me to do what I enjoy, which is sharing the knowledge. Instead of hoarding the knowledge and keeping the knowledge to myself, I am a proponent of sharing. Sharing is caring, educating. Minds are able to move forward. So uh, I have a part to play in this journey, and each one of us does. So on Telegram, you'll be able to see a lot of what Facebook has been blocking people from. Even when I cross post on Instagram, Facebook blocks about half of what actually comes across. So you guys don't even see everything. And usually what I post is mostly in the storyline and not actually on the direct page. Um, and the storyline only is 24 hours and then it disappears anyway. In Telegram, I'm able to post videos and pictures and information that stays there. And you can go into history. Now, those who have been following me and those that are listening to me, I would hope, are able to decipher that I am of right mind. But the information that has been kept from us will make you doubt yourself of what you know and doubt me for sharing it. It's up to you whether you want to actually do your homework to see if the information is true or if you are uncomfortable enough that you must reject it upon initial evaluation. That's your decision to make. When it's all said and done, I am not at this point in my journey wanting to spend a lot of time convincing people of information that I share. It's up to you if it's important enough to you. So in my journey, as you know, I'm following health. I'm following information in wealth and wealth building. And I am a very strong proponent of positive mindset and what that does. So it leads me down the learning journey of spiritual enlightenment. And so my journey may not mirror yours completely, but at some point when you're on a holistic journey, your information isn't going to vary greatly. So in my journey, I have had people who were uncomfortable enough in what I have said and shared to claim an evil intention, a demonic basis of my being because I choose not to call out the one that created us by any particular name that they must hear in order to authenticate me. Let it be very clear and true that I am the spiritual basis. I claim no denomination. I am on a journey of truth and educating myself based on what has been endowed upon me from the one that created me that allows me without, without any conscious thought to breathe and disperse that oxygen throughout my body and eat and disperse that nutrition through my body and listen and disperse that information throughout my body without anybody else's intention or understanding. I'm educated enough. I came here with that cognitive ability and I plan on using it until the day I leave this earth. So, as I said, I'm looking at this point in my journey to connect with those of like minds that can I can assist in their journey and they can assist in me and mine. I will be posting here on Facebook um, the superficial information that Facebook allows to be posted. But on my main page right now, and I will post that picture after this live, I'm already on Facebook warning 
for posting information that Facebook deems not to be acceptable. I will be who I was born to be when I leave this earth and that is free. So anything and anywhere that I am able to express myself, I expect to be able to express myself in complete fullness. If I am being censored personally by individuals who cannot process my information, they are welcome to move on. If I am being censored by social media platforms that are run by bots and robots that are programmed to allow me to say and not say certain things, they are allowed to move on. And so, therefore, I will be moving on. <laughs> Um, but look, it, it was some other stuff that I wanted to share. So I'm not going to stay on that. You guys kind of got that, that, that horse is dead. Let's move on. So there's been so much happening that not everything gets posted on this page as well that I can share. And so today is day four for me of a liquid fast. It's the second fast that I have done in this month. The first one I did for three days and now I am on my next fast and I'm not quite sure how far I'm going to go um, I may just go the six days I might go 14 days I'm not sure I um, will tell you what I have experienced thus far with fasting because this is a more newer than older process for me when I transitioned into the Dr. Savies biomineral balance then I did intermittent fasts I did not do a uh, multiple day fast and so what I mean by that is that I juiced but I ate a meal or maybe I think it was just one meal a day I think I was at one meal a day. I had gotten myself to one meal and skip a meal because I was trying to get and trying to get to the every other day status or um, I get strong enough to do a water fast. I'm not quite that strong. Um, but where I'm at is I'm today I'm on day four. I'm learning more about different juices and getting out of my head preconceived notions of what that looks like. So I'm so focused on the fruit juices that I totally was not thinking about uh, tomatoes and those things that would make a, maybe a soup or something of that nature. Liquid fast. Um, so w one of the things I'm working on with this is trying to learn how to, I have some type of a clot or something right here that just won't move on. And I'm not quite sure because sometimes it's more prevalent than others. And I'm trying to learn what um, combination of herbs would clear out that area of my body. Um, and so in the process, I have learned a few things. So I know about the nopal cactus. I've shared it with a good friend of mine who's um, now has incorporated it in her diet and, and reaped the benefits of what it does for you. Um, and so one of the things that, that was pretty interesting as you transition, you have certain foods that you prefer that you can learn that you can't eat because they're acidic, but those foods are actually copying the actual uh, alkaline foods that we don't know about. So no pal cactus, you can actually, um, clean that up and chop it up like string beans and steam it like string beans taste like string beans, um. But the health benefits are much more outstanding and the long-term benefits are incomparable when you think about the fact that string beans are acidic um, and alkaline foods uh, are all complementary to your body. I'm not going to go into much detail about this. Be, I can talk about that. I made this transition two years ago, so it's been like right now. I just kind of share and talk about my journey. Um, that being said, 
What I've learned about the Nopal is that you can also take it, clean it up. I learned a new way to clean it. The way I used to clean it was you take it because it has all those thorns on it. You want to put some gloves on it. can't, you know, it won't let thorns penetrate is what I do. And I used to take a knife and sh rake it off like you do um, the scales of a fish. You know, um, it can be a little messy. Um, and sometimes you don't get everything. And, um, you know, so on and so forth. Well, in this, what I have learned now, I also have learned a new way to get the thorns off of the no pal. And so, what, you know, first of all, let me say the what. So, you can actually wash your hair with the no pal. And so, I have washed my hair now. Um, this is the second time. Um, I really have... It has been an explosion for me because what a thing I hadn't talked about was that I've had this ongoing itchy kind of burny sensation of my scalp that is a continuous thing I just kind of have learned to live with. Um, I thought that I could get rid of it when I cut my hair and wash my hair. Maybe it was, you know, I could see the irritant. Maybe I'd see bur um, bumps or something I can focus on, uh, you know, but it was not it was not visible to the um, eye. But it was constantly, always just irritating and I would scratch. And then I'd be conscious of scratching because I didn't want people to think I had some kind of a contagious disease. You know, you can get into that scratch and roll the eyes back on your head because it would feel so good. Yeah, you look kind of crazy when you're doing that. So, I washed my hair with the Nopal the first time and immediately I felt relief. I don't feel that at all anymore. And so the, I washed my hair the other day because it was time to wash again. And um, this is the process I have learned. You take the no pal, you put it over, you take it and you light your fire on your gas fire, you know, flame. You need a flame. And then you put it over the flame. The cactus itself is not going to catch on fire. It, it shears all of the thorns and they drop off. If they don't drop off, then you can just knock them off because they're burned and they will easily just drop. So then there you have a deformed um, cactus without having to get your fingers pricked. Um, then you want to cut the bottom off. I do, you know, just like you would any other vegetable. Cut off the kind of dried in edge. Um, and then you chop it and put it in a blender. You add some spring water and you blend it. Now, one of the things I keep forgetting to do is you do want to strain it afterwards or you're going to have cactus pieces in your hair. <laughs> but after it dries off, it falls out. But I think, yeah, don't see any. Um, but, you know, that's a step that I omitted in that process both times. Um, but other than that, when you wash it, you know, just like you would, you're washing your scalp, not necessarily as much as I want to say uh, your, your um, locks, if you have them, although I have um, covered them in my locks as well. Um, and you know what? I might have to say, because I was about to say, I don't think it gets out the lint. But I don't see any lint in my hair. I really wasn't paying attention to it. You know, the... Um, I just realized that I hadn't strained it, so I still had a lot of the cactus pieces that um, the outer skin, you know, that kind of waxy layer, it doesn't blend in like the liquid form, you know, so you need to strain it, um, and I didn't do that, so I was just like, okay, I ain't going anywhere, I guess nobody's going to see it, I'll just let it dry and come out, and I hadn't, I've been so busy, I just, this is the first time I'm actually looking, what I will say is the wonderful part of this once again the artificial chasing the natural that we have gotten so um, mesmerized by the lies that they tell we have totally forgotten how long we have lived in the nature of things and that the transition was that man farm um, facilitated everything that we have based on something in nature that it was copying we have now become so indoctrinated that we choose to find the artificial product instead of the natural product but when I smell my hair 
it smells so neutrally clean it is ridiculous not a perfume neutrally clean like I can smell nothing but air like I don't smell hair I smell air and it smells good like you outside like like you in the outside and you just smell goodness and it's not any particular smell that's what my hair smells like for anybody who wants to know what locks smell like they smell like air <laughs> anyway let me hurry up I gotta go pick the kid up um, but okay so I talked about the no pal um, I am posting on my telegram page and uh, I think probably more than any other page now even though I'm going to maintain my other pages my recipes and things of that nature that I want to share more detail will be on the telegram page so once again the telegram page is I am M L U V I A M M L U V if you are confused you can message me and ask for the link and I can share it with you um, and there you will get more uh, of the hardcore what I'm about and who I am and what I got to say about all of this shit that's going on um, but meanwhile, like I said, okay, so I've talked about that. I am excited because for those that have been paying attention to what is being spoken about in regards to the universe and the transition that is happening on a holistic level, I got my download on the 21st. I didn't know what to expect or how to expect it. And there has been a long-awaited question for me that I finally have come to an answer. And I'm very excited about it. And it will engulf a huge change in my life that I have been waiting for and preparing for. And now the time has come. The time is here. The time is here. The time is here. And in that will also take me to what has been the how and the what's in regards to what I'm trying to achieve in my business. Um, I knew the whys. The whys were always there, but the hows and the what's have come together. Um, you hear about people on the wealth building spectrum talking about seven streams of income. Uh, it was a vague thought in my mind as I have been trying to build my real estate business, but having cracked the major code for me, which is processing new coming leads and how that looks and bringing in leads and, and having that systemized and getting it to a point where I can see that I will soon have others doing that for me. It frees me up to focus on other parts of business. And so that will be what will be happening in the next year, which I will share more of as it happens. Um, in regards to mindset, this year has been a very serious whirlwind. And anything that can happen has happened to knock us off of our firm foundation of beliefs and understanding. It is imperative for each one of us to educate ourselves and follow the path that makes the most sense for you and that is really what I want to say in regards to mindset first and foremost I kind of don't want to go down that rabbit hole because it's another hour in itself and I don't want to stay on this live too long I know I need to do more lives which I will probably do I've got to get a few things situated with this Big Brother watching scenario I don't like it it goes against what I'm planning and how I want to live so I have a few things that I am doing to make those adjustments work for me and so once I do then 
I can kind of get, I guess, more engaged, even more engaged, I want to say. Um, but yeah, in regards to um, playing, like I said, um, you're supposed to play in seven streams of income. I've I've got my plan together with seven streams of income. I also am planning it to uh, affect seven generations out. So uh, that is exciting, very exciting for me. I'm not limited in my thinking. I am not and have not been just building a business just to eat tomorrow. It has always been to build something for legacy purposes. And so it's time to take action with some of those legacy activities that I had in mind. It's all kind of come together with, like I said, my download that came on the 21st. <laughs> um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. And so mindset is the key. What I have also come into understanding, I just saw, I just posted on my page, perfect, um, a video that I saw was actually a sponsored video and I don't really interact with a lot of them because I don't want to encourage the marketing um, for me. But that being said, this one was reminded me of my days when I was growing up in my parents' home. And I was not afforded the ability to take um, conventional dance classes or anything of that nature. And I was really into modern dance and thought I could dance. And in my mind, I was the world's greatest dancer. And I used to dance around my house. I don't know what any of the names of the different positions were because I wasn't formally trained, but I did me. And that made me happy. And so as I moved forward in life, I had experiences that would throw me. And it wasn't until the full circles of coming around and really understanding certain things that really made it make more sense. And so, as I said, I used to dance around the house. But then I would have people on the street that would stop me and ask me where my dance class was. They want to sign up. And I didn't understand what they were talking about. I'm just walking down the street. What do you mean, my dance class? I don't even have a shirt on that says anything about dance class. What are you talking about? I don't teach dance. And then um, one day I was dressed in my full telephone technician attire. It had on my jacket because it was a brisk day. And then I had on my waist belt of all my telephone technician repair tools. Telephone butt set, meter, screwdriver, um, needle nose pliers, cutters, um, tone generator, so on and so forth. Tools. This lady is riding past me and stops and as, puts her window down. And as I'm walking and I get parallel to her window, she turns and asks me about my dance class. What dance class? She wants to sign up. What dance class? I don't have a dance class. Didn't know what she was talking about. Another time. I had a situation with, you know, young kids and vandalism. I called the police. I'm wanting to file the vandalism report. The police officer, um, I can see him ascending my staircase. I'm in my kitchen and I walk into, walk out onto the porch and I'm drying my hands and I'm introducing myself and greeting the police officer. And he asked me about my dancing. Dancing? I'm so thrown off. I'm offended. I thought he was talking about stripping. <laughs> I was pissed. I'm like, look, man, you came here to take a report. All of this extra I don't need. I was pissed. After he left and after thinking about how many people have approached me about my dancing, I realized that he wasn't speaking about that way. He was asking me like everybody else about my dance class. So now full circle moment as I have come into this stage of my life. And understanding the power of mindset and how important mindset is and how they say to envision yourself there before you get there because you will be the first person that can see yourself there. No one else can see what you see. If you get up and decide to write your name on a piece of paper, it isn't until you 
execute that, that they can see that. So it takes you to initiate that. And I did not get it, but it was there for me to see all of this time that I was dancing around my house, believing that I was the world's greatest dancer for everyone else to recognize my dancing abilities as well. And I have never danced publicly, except, you know, goody, 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 you know, let's pop and weave dance. I've never done any kind of formal dancing, but I believed. So that is what I would say about mindset and getting through 2020. I've also had experience, which I'm not going to share this time, but I will say that it is the most difficult times the character is built. And I have had those difficult times many times enough to witness and experience. So don't give up on your dreams and think hard and be in touch with self because you will see yourself there before anyone else. So get your butt on 